Hey, hi to Peru. Hello. Please come to theaters to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Please, thank you. Nobody's ever seen his face. Why? Because he destroys anyone who does. Oh. Oh. No, not cool. A bit cool. Each generation has its own version of popular character. Uh, how do you think the general audience will receive this new version of April O'Neil? I, I, I hope well. I feel like it, the movie hits all those points of nostalgia, but also the turtles are, you know, they're redefined their voice by these like really great, talented teenage actors. And uh, all the characters, I think, have this like fresh perspective just because uh, Jeff and Seth and the creative team really wanted to focus on the fact that they are teenagers. So you were baby turtles who made contact with mystery goo. Well, we prefer the term ooze, but yeah. It's like more like, it's just nicer. It, it, it so. rolls off the tongue better, yeah. Ooze. 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 It's nice, right? Ooze. It's ooze. Your April in some moments remind me to your character in The Bear because uh, she's, a, she's a woman looking for opportunity to, to prove her value. Um, do you have a similar approach to the character or is it just a coincidence? It's so funny. You're like the second person who said that today. And I really was, I, f I feel like they're so different to me. But yeah, I think it just kind of is a coincidence. But also I feel like I'm somebody who I definitely, I give the vibe that I work hard and I want to prove myself. I, I loved it. It was very exciting to me. It feels very full of energy. And I know the creative team was really trying to hone the fact that there's like a, a youthful energy to it. Like the, nothing is too perfect, you know? Nothing's too finished. It feels almost like, you know, like teenagers did it in a way that's like very elevated. So that was, that was very exciting. Tortugas Ninja, Caos Mutante.